Hello, everybody. Welcome to Lizard Gaming. Uh, well, uh, to continue Spook Week, we are going to be playing Voyager 19. Or I am, and you get to watch me, uh, have problems trying to figure out how the making of. Nah, I'm good. Oh, I lost train of thought. <laughs> that seems to be a thing. Every time I do one of these videos, my my ADHD in my brain just decides to say, nah, you're going to lose train of thought. I have not played this game. I don't know what I'm expecting other than it's a horror game. A scary, spooky game for Spook Week. And I am going to be on a Voyager 19, I'm guessing. Let's just jump right in and see what I I have to do. The official goal of this mission is to search for habitable planets on the Okrulo sector, but your real mission is to figure out what happened to the Magella Science Expedition that went missing there. The public is unaware that they that they have devaded from their original course and cut communications. We need to know what happened before they got for, before this gets publicized. We've provided you a Voyager 19 series spacecraft. It is basic but it uh, but has hibernation tech and functional light speed capable engines. The electronics are the main illumination. Radiation will degrade them on interstellar flights, but they will remain functional for seven missions. We've commissioned for you. Let us begin. Oh my god. Oh, 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 dear lord. Okay. Oh. I didn't know I was in... Okay. I thought it was just a panel in front of me. Apparently not. Um... <laughs> Oh, shoot. Oh my, this is rudimentary. Holy cow. Oh. Uh. Nice. Nice little moon. Cool. Okay. I'm getting the hang of this, I guess. Let me see if I can... Yeah, let me just do that. Oop, shoot. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, this is... This is weird. Ah. Ah. That's the star. That's the star we're wandering around. Got it. Go all the way over here. Hello, tiny little moon. Nice. Okay. So we got, we got good energy. Not in light because we are on the wrong side of the moon. <laughs> Perfect sensors. It's a gas giant. Is it a hot Jupiter? Let me see if I could just turn this off, turn that on. Nice. Okay. I could just turn them all on. Okay. Oh, shoot. There we go. Because my monkey brain is trying to figure out all these. Okay, let's see. Make my way to the tiny little planetoid. Uh oh. Interesting. Yep, sounds like a planet that's been hit with a bunch of radio waves. I gotta take a Okay. Huh. Screw it.
Let's let's make our way to uh, the top side of the sun. Sounds about right for a star. Let's try here. Right there. Make sure. Yeah, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. It's not like sig signal simulator or any difference. So I did all these. Do I just. Oh shoot, so I can't leave. Interesting. Uh, oh shoot. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Oh, so I see my little nubbin hands. Uh hmm. For each celestial body. Entering habitation. Okay. Navigation. Hey. It's a blue star and oh geez my screen's super fuzzy ah yep sounds like a star well, my computers are getting weaker and weaker because of the radiation because the solar radiation freaking blows <laughs> oh, shoot. There we go. Where have I? <laughs> that it sounds like it came from Space Sim or not Space Simulator, Signal Simulator. Yeah. Sounds straight from it.
just feels weird that I'm actually just kind of... I'm basically in a giant space sarcophagus. So what that tells me a lot is they don't expect me to return. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, oh. Sounds about right. We are good for hab hibernation. The big, the big EP. Oh, geez, the pixels on my screen are burning. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, and the computers are loading slower. Uh oh. And I am running out of power sources. Uh oh. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Well, actually, first, before I even travel, <laughs> Let's see what Yeah Yeah, that sounds like solar f flare winds. Nice. Okay, that made me jump out of my skin. Interesting.
I almost killed myself. <laughs> so, yeah. Transferring what? Transfer complete. See if I can hear something out of it. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Let us go to another planet. We're gonna have to zoom by the star. So I am gonna have to turn my vessel about this degrees. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt gas giants are m one of the most common planets. Oh boy. Here we go. Turning all things off. Hopefully. Yeah, planets. Yep. Oh, yeah, files. Ah, how to properly document. Pla oh, yeah, no. Ship log. File. Uh, decrypt. Decrypting time left three years. File encrypted. Ugh. File encrypted. Chat log encrypted. Ugh. Entering hibernation. Take my oxygen supply from me. Anomaly detected in system LK exploration target planet LK2. Potentially habitable. Does not exist. Report error in astronomical data in exploration committee. Oh no. Okay. First up, we take a picture of our big, beautiful ball of gas. Okay, good picture. I realize I need to uh, turn off camera and do that first, anyways. But whatever. Mm. <laughs> oh, I am so not tired. <laughs> yep. 
Returning. Almost. Perfect. Turn that on. Let's see what this planetoid got us. Interesting. That would be a little smarter. I'm sorry, what is that? Looks like a Dyson Sphere. Wait. Oh, okay. That's a weird ass planet. It doesn't look like a planet. It looks just like a weird Dyson sphere. Yes, I'm done. Entering hibernation. Yep, system's slowly starting to get killed. Well, uh, practicalities hold true across massive size differences in credit. A cell looks like a star to a supernova, or our eyes like nebulas to those small pale to the difference. That's a wall. Oh, it's a well. Weird. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Well. Interesting. Is that a hot Jupiter next to a star? Take a look. I want to see if this is a hot Jupiter. And of course, I have to turn these off. Uh, here we go. 
Oh yeah, I have to. Ah, it's a star. All right. <laughs> oh shoot. This is Oh man, my neck. That means we got a binary star system. Da 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 da. -da. Perfect. I'm getting good at that. It's not what I wanted. I wanted power. Well, actually. There we go. I'm getting I'm getting the hang of trying to get to planet to planet FD3. sizable planet. All right. Uh, turn off the camera, turn on the radio. Oh, shoot. I forgot to... Oh, yeah, I almost forgot to uh, do encryptions. I want to I want to test something Yeah. 
Interesting. I'm sorry. Uh, what am I looking at? What? Uh, uh, uh. I'm sorry. That cannot be a living planetoid. Oh, okay. System booting. All right. These predators may mimic food or sexual partners to lure in their prey. One example is the snapping lure. His tongue resembles a that wiggles around a fish and then eaten by turtles. Another from aggressive mimicry as found in what? What are we talking about? Uh. Actually, hold up. Navigation. Okay, we're right next to a target. Good. Okay. Sorry, that was my brain not working. Oh, actually, yeah. Right, let's take a photo. Sounds correct. Good picture. <laughs> if the camera can take a good picture, uh, anyway. Oh, well. Uh, so that's my next planetoid. Navigation. There we go. All right. What is that in the corner of my screen? Well, whatever that, that is, I got myself.
That wasn't there. That wasn't there. Um, I, I don't, uh, ooh, I'm in a coffin, I'm in a giant space coffin, and I can't do jack shit to get out of the said space coffin. Yeah, three years to... Question mark, question mark, question mark. I don't want to get an audio recording. The same object. No. No. It's following me. User, he changed our course and disabled the comm systems, right? So the committee can't remotely override a route when they find out. This is stop at least 60 years, but with the route, we come so far always a hundred. Interesting. Oh, you son of a bitch. Of course. Why is it always going to be slightly off center? There we go. Good picture. Power. Radio. Give myself a heart attack. Because I keep rushing it. Yep, seems correct. I see three planetoids. Try that power. I am, I am actually slightly on edge. What the hell?
Oh, it's because I didn't turn it on. Uh, huh. Not centered. Uh... I swear, I hear a heartbeat on this one. Picture. Nice. Uh, I'm just waiting for. I knew it. I knew it. Why? Why does it have a heartbeat? Specifically, a two chambered heart. Dad. Uh, what? There's more of them. Oh, no. There's more of them. No, no, let's just take, let's just take the radio. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. Make it sure. That's so weird. That's so weird. I have one more object one more celestial body i don't think the term celestial body works in this current uh understanding uh Here we go, here we go. Let's just do radio first. Oh no. Oh no. They're all living. I'm sorry? Oh, 
not in light. Yay. What does this mean? You want me to take a photo whatever is here. Looks like Earth. like earth like ah oh, shit uh, yeah because I uh, uh There's got to be. I can get out of this. Nope. Screw you. I am not on the menu. Make it. Error, error. No. Voyager 19 craft has failed to establish communications. Losses cannot be hidden from public any longer. Recommended waiting until election cycle is over to announce. Oh. Oh. That's a spine chiller and a half. Oh. Okay, give me something to breathe for. Oh boy. Ooh. Ooh. So anyway, that was Voyager 19. Uh, I honestly didn't expect that. <laughs> I was expecting something crawling up in the vessel, not uh, not cosmic horror that uh, celestial bodies are the creatures that will consume, like giant space jellyfish. I think that's what it was. Uh... Yeah, that was actually pretty freaking interesting. Holy cow. So anyway, hope you enjoyed uh, Voyager 19. I really honestly don't know what to say. It, it's, a, it's a form of cosmic horror that I didn't expect. Like I said, I've, uh, I've only seen a few 
clips, but I haven't actually fully watched the videos. I just kind of went, eh, it exists. Uh, I'll play it. So anyway, hope you enjoyed. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Safe travels, everyone. Goodbye.